a massive weekend on tap. Uh, preview it for us a little, if you would. Okay, so, I mean, this next weekend is pretty much going to be a major defensive weekend. I mean, if you look at kind of the breakdown right now, they have three defensive linemen visiting two linebackers, a cornerback, uh, and two safeties. And these are all uncommitted prospects. Uh, they also have a wide receiver and one offensive lineman who aren't committed. As far as the commits go, Bryce Simpson will be on the visit, a uh, big-time offensive lineman out of Cy Ranch, a uh, Lubbock Cooper athlete, Kyler Jordan. Don't really know where he's going to play yet. I, I would say it seems like things are trending towards linebacker, so a really nice visit for him. Where really? He, he was a tight end, wasn't he? Or am I thinking no, of somebody yeah, else? he was a... So so he plays defensive end at Lubbock Cooper. Oh, that not um, defensive end is what I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah, and so a lot of people think he'll stay there. And and it's very possible that he'll end up being a defensive end, but I kind of see him possibly in that Dylan Doyle mold if he can move well enough. That's going to be uh, the biggest challenge and kind of thought process with him. Um, and then obviously if you look at the other guys on, on this uh, trip, I mean, it's interesting. Only two commits are on this trip right now. And so I think they're really going to have to do a good job at kind of bringing this group together. Zach Pyron did a great job of that last weekend. Uh, same with Trey Emery and Jordan Neighbors. Uh, they did a great job, too, even though they technically weren't committed the entire weekend. Uh, they were really hyping up Baylor. Kyan Roberts Day did a great job of that as well. Um, and so looking at the rest of this group, uh, guys that you really need to pay attention to, Gladewater wide receiver DJ Allen. Uh, he he's another wide receiver in this class who Baylor's been recruiting for a long time and a guy who I do think uh, I think there's a good chance that he could end up in this class and he would be a huge pickup for this Baylor recruiting staff if they're able to land him uh, Coppell offensive lineman Alvin Ebosele need to bring him up because Baylor currently does not have a left tackle in this class and Alvin has been their top left tackle target since day one um they got to make up it's not even really making up some ground here but they really need to do their best at closing this deal they need a left tackle in this class i think alvin fits that mold really well i mentioned three defensive linemen the big nugget there is cedric roberts uh, pflugerville hendrickson defensive lineman he was a baylor commit uh, decommitted and now he will be back on campus a great opportunity for Baylor to maybe get him back in this class uh, so we'll see how that unfolds over the weekend and then a lot of defensive backs highlighted by Jalen Peoples uh, the Cedar Hill uh, cornerback obviously it's been a very interesting recruitment he's had four different commitment dates uh, has been on four or five official visits now almost all of them are done uh, and now he's coming to Baylor on his what's supposed to be his last official visit before making a decision in early July or late June. Uh, we'll see which one he goes with there. But yeah, Baylor, Baylor's in a great position there. I mean, he's got a great relationship with Joey McGuire, of course, and now Baylor really just needs to finish finish this one because Peoples has obviously, he's been on a lot of visits, he's talked to a lot of schools, and now it's just a matter of will he make a decision after this weekend? We'll see, but it could be a big one for this class. Do you have any type of uh, temperature gauge on what you're expecting? Uh, you know, are you expecting uh, a commit, couple commits, weekend like last weekend? So I, the, the problem with this group is that some of these guys have dates set for making a commitment, and it just so happens to be, you know, a week or two after the visit. So are you going to let me count those or no? Sure. We'll count those? Okay. I see... Um, how bold do you how bold do you want me to get? I mean, I want this? you to be realistic with yeah. the people out there listening. I want you to pump their heads up and get false hope, but I mean, I, I could honestly see as many as I could see as many as seven of these uncommitted prospects being in Baylor's twenty twenty two class eventually. Um like, I really think they're in that good of a position with the guys that they have on this visit. I don't think they brought these guys in as guys, oh, we're just trying to get back in it. Right. A lot of these guys, Baylor's in great positions with, I, I mean, I'll say seven right now. I think the realistic number is probably five. Um, but, I, I mean, seven's realistic. I just mean the, the higher probability and it being maybe closer to when they went on their visit, probably five. But I, I would say there's probably only two guys I would consider long shots on the visit. Maybe only one, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm expecting huge things, from probably even bigger than last weekend. All right. Well, you heard it uh, here first, and you'll hear it uh, throughout the rest of the week as well on the Sikkim 365 premium boards. If you were 
craving more and more recruiting last weekend and you are not a member of Sikkim 365, well, what are you doing? Uh, that's a good way to go and get your fill and much more. Uh, you can peruse the boards, a variety of different topics, but a whole lot of recruiting and a whole lot of discussion on the young men who committed last weekend and the activities coming up this weekend. So do take advantage and uh, sign up just in time for the big swing in recruiting. And I mean, don't look now, but less than three weeks away from Big 12 Media Days. and. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump to the start of the season and fall camp after that. So pretty good time to go on and become a member if you haven't already because things are picking up, uh, to be sure, especially on the recruiting side of things as Dave Arand and his staff seemingly have hit their groove and uh, look like they're going to be a pretty adept staff at recruiting as well. Uh, we've seen Matt Rule have some success. Would have had a heck of a lot more if he had stuck around, but it is what it is. Uh, we saw Bryles have success towards the end. Um, and, you know, Jim Grobe obviously didn't have a recruiting class, so he doesn't count. But uh, it's been proven you can recruit well at Baylor. And we had high hopes for Dave Rand and his staff. And with a little tweaking, it looks like they are, like I said, hitting a nice groove. So uh, better move along because we do 